and gentlemen, my name is Alex. Welcome back here at EOS Marketplace News, and I will be your broadcaster for today. Now, guys, for today's news, I'll be giving you um, one of the most popular topic on the crypto world. So, just stay tuned, okay? And next, I will be showing you a glimpse of the newsletter for our future subscribers because I know you'll be interested when you see it all right so by the way happy holidays to everyone and I hope that you are already preparing for the holidays like packing your gifts buying your gifts right so this is one of my way of you know sharing by sharing to you what is the most recent or the update or what is the most uh, you know newest topic in the crypto world okay so i hope you appreciate it all right so guys let's start today's news blockchain pioneer launches fund to help startups oh nice a bear market doesn't seem feasible presently. However, this doesn't stop David Johnston, a blockchain pioneer, from thinking otherwise. Johnston revealed to Coindesk that he launched a Yeoman's Growth Capital Fund and plans to raise up to $200 million. This sum is intended to be made available to projects that have functioning software but need assistance with reaching users. Johnston, in an interview with Coindesk, said, We honestly think this is the perfect time to launch a growth capital firm that can take all of these great technologies built in the past few years and help bring them into enterprise into mass adoption by consumers. Yeo Man's um, Capital, the personal family office of Johnston, has committed an undisclosed sum to the capital of the fund. The fund is now bringing co-investors with several announcement of general and limited partners. Henry Liu, who worked as a growth strategy in Facebook, joined Yeo Man's Capital earlier in the year as its chief investment officer. He said, it's a good time to launch this because we are focused on growth and adoption. And in these bear market conditions, people see the very pressing need for traction, something we have been preaching for the past couple of years. The state of, crypt of the crypto industry. The crypto winter is bleak at the moment. Managers that build investment funds focus on maxing indexes or picking tokens have experiences plummeting of net asset values. The numbers are as high as 70 to 80 percent. A large bulk of these funds may close soon. Blockchain incubation studio consensus underscored the state of affairs and had to scale back their refocus on projects that have more opportunities to fund themselves. The initial fundraising target for the fund was higher, but Eomans followed the contraction in the crypto market and set it to $200 million. Lou said the cap will be revaluated next year once, into, uh, once institutional players like endowment funds enter the market with an average check size of $25 million to $40 million. The focus of YGC. YGC is focusing on rolling up the sleeves and offering projects long-term help for marketing, getting to into enterprises, and driving sales. I think about what we are doing at YGC as a very similar to private equity or traditional growth capital, said Johnston. Our focus is on projects that are re already live, that already have a mainnet, they have a, uh, they have got software, and they have got products. So what they need to help with growth and adoption. So Johnston is obviously no stranger to the challenges faced by the industry. He was co-founded of BitAngels, a leading crypto investment in 2013. He was also a board member of the Omni Protocol Foundation. He started investment, uh, investing his capital into crypto projects two years ago. He has completed decentralized his businesses and even pays his um, stall, yeah, staff rather, staff in crypto. 
Johnston's goal is to fill up the gap in the market between private equity and venture capital while working with protocol founders, he said. He said, we haven't seen the TPGs or KKRs of the world move into space yet, but there is a huge need for this real world adoption and growth work. And so we are ready to jump into the gap and help grow these companies and protocols for the next few years. The fund will employ new creative techniques to help push the projects into revenue generation. It will do so by leveraging the portfolio of FO companies. It may also include assembling them with other non-blockchain and blockchain partners to custom design new avenues for growth. Right. So, guys, that's it for the um, latest news and update. Right. It's a good news. It's a good news. It's a news that to inspire people and to challenge people as well right so guys please visit preferredcurrency.news so that you will be the first one to get notified and of course subscribe now i don't want you to miss this offer so you can use or you can subscribe by using your paypal for a monthly recurring that's only 15 dollars per month fiat or you can use the coinbase option for 180 dollars annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto all right so guys there you go now when you subscribe let me show you what will you be getting you will be getting a newsletter okay newsletter um it will be sent via email that's every day of course 12 hours before we post videos here on youtube so on the newsletter of course the news for the day or the article of the day but it's not just that. When you click continue reading on this article, it will take you to the page where you can read a lot. Okay? And not just that. If you click here, you can also read the previous articles and news. All right. And guys, join our Telegram group or public free Telegram group. I will be posting the links. Don't worry. Um, so that we can have fun and discussing about EOS, Bitcoins, and other um, crypto, crypto news and trends, right? Okay, so here, guys, I want to show you or to share to you the Donald's research list. Let's open. Let's open the spreadsheet there. So this is the Donald's research list. Now, Donald's research list, guys, is a list of tokens and coins. So it's a complete list of tokens and coins. And it's being updated by Donald every day. So he is making literally our lives more convenient, easier, and happy. Because we know that it's very important to keep track of the tokens and coins. So that's why he finds a way or he found a way how to do that for us all right he will do the work for us he's like our employee that he updates the statuses of the coins so that we can we can check out easily and more conveniently right so thanks to donald by the way guys donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet only here at preferred currency news so just imagine that okay so um maybe you're wondering why are there colors so colors mean something red have negative news orange or town are neutral yellow or fair green good news blue showing the best news so no worries about that because when you subscribe and you might be forgotten forgetting what i just told you then all information will be on the newsletter okay so here since we talked about um bitcoin so let's talk about bitcoin right i know okay yeah bitcoin we will talk about bitcoin recent price it's three thousand four hundred eighty eight point three three eight eight nine four zero four share of total market volume is 36.34 percent google searches compared to the past seven days 52 percent SMA movement, it's crossing down 15, number of positive technical indicators, 4, for 24 hours and 7 days, volume versus price, it's 0, 
30 days of volume versus price is 0.53 and percent issued it's 82.95 percent right so guys that's it and oh i want to know about dav but where's dav here so there's an easy way to do that instead of scrolling up down up down up down you just need to type in control f and then type in dav there so dav oh dav is also blue so it's showing the good news or the best news so dav tokens recent price is 0 0.0029 Zero percent for its to um shared total market volume. Um, Google searches it's forty nine percent. It's crossing down fifty for SMA movement, four for positive technical indicators, twenty four hours volume versus price it's eighteen point ninety one, seven days volume versus price eleven point seventeen, thirty days volume versus price zero and percent issued it's. 32.94 percent well that easy and you can have it here but um guys for your information this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything okay this sheet um just tells us or just helps us um find out the status of every token or coin but it doesn't mean that we are recommending it for you to buy or sell right because we are not financial advisors so we would like to recommend that you do your own research with every token or coin and you can decide afterwards right so all the blue coins here are really showing good news so might as well prioritize them on your research right so it's really big help donald's research that it's really a big help all right so Guys, I think that's all for today, and I hope you've enjoyed another webisode here at EOS Marketplace News. And if you have questions, concerns, you can always, always feel free to comment down below, all right? We accept suggestions as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Alex now saying goodbye and take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.